Welcome back to J Music Talks. Today I wanted to do a more casual review of the ProTech ProPack saxophone case. Now I have two of these, one for alto and one for tenor, so today I'm going to be showing you my tenor case. So this is my ProTech ProPack tenor saxophone case. This is the Max one. So it does come with a very strong zipper here. It comes with a large pocket. One small pocket on the outside that I don't really use too much. It has backpack straps, which are by far the best feature of it. It makes carrying so much easier and takes a lot of the weight off of um, your shoulder for carrying that way. Uh, it does have those straps though. You can hook up your shoulder straps right here and here, and it does come with the strap as well. Uh, that is not my preferred method, so I don't have it on there just to uh, save it from dragging around when I'm kind of carrying it by this lovely handle right here. So this is Velcro folds the two handles together. I think that's fairly standard now on saxophone cases to use Velcro to kind of fold those together. It has a top handle and it has feet. And it not only has feet on the very base, but it also has feet on the side as well. Right here. So it's got four feet here as well. And that just keeps it off the floor. Uh, so that the instrument isn't making contact with the floor. Uh, it keeps the case a lot cleaner as well. Uh, and just really helps uh, with impact uh, if your instrument happens to be dropped from uh, you know like a small distance if you're putting it down and you put it down too quickly so that really does help uh, because it is contoured it's very slim all right so to get inside fairly easy just gonna undo those undo the velcro and undo the zippers and these zippers so far have not broken um, I've owned this case for about two years, but I've owned my Alto version for about four, so they are extremely durable. Um, it is high density foam in here, so it's semi hard, but you can still feel that it's not um, it's not as hard as obviously the hard shell case, but it is fully protected. It's not like a gig bag where you're not going to have any protection, like there is a fair amount in here. So this is uh, my Yamaha custom tenor saxophone. It fits fairly snug in here. It doesn't have a whole lot of wiggle room, which is ideal because the more wiggle room it has, the more room it has to get damaged uh, during transport. So I really like that feature. It's really snugly in here, especially with that. Like you can see, it's it's not going anywhere even if I shake it. Um, the neck hole is a little is a little big, so the neck and mouthpiece do have a lot of wiggle room, but um, that's okay. That's okay, because if they do ever da get damaged, um, these are a lot easier to replace than the whole body of the saxophone, so uh, I will live with that for now. Um, other than that, there is no um, space inside to store things unless you are sliding them down the bell. Personally, I do not store anything inside the bell of the saxophone, um, just you know, to keep everything safe in there and so that I don't have anything flying out and flying around the case. Um, just extra protection there. So I only keep the body, uh, one of my mouthpieces, and my neck in there. And I actually keep my, um, that is my classical somewhere mouthpiece in there. So pretty easy. Zip, Velcro, handles, you're ready to go. Fairly easy to pack it up. The top pocket up here has a fair amount of space. Um, I don't keep a whole lot in my cases, as I've mentioned before. Um, stuff does get kind of thrown around in here, so you do have to keep that in mind. Um, this is where I store my extra mouthpiece, so that's my uh, metal jazz mouthpiece. I have a tuner, metronome, cork grease, reed case. Um, random piece of paper from when it went in for repairs recently. Uh, some powder paper. Um, some extra reeds. Cloth, sandpaper, obviously an extra. Uh, it all does fit in there fairly nicely. It's a big pocket. Um, it is not big enough to fit in a full size folder or a full size book. You could probably fit maybe like a notebook in there, but at that point you might as well just have a separate bag for all your papers and books, which is what I do. I just keep a folder on the side and it works out fairly well that way. Um, but you can see there's a lot of, ooh, lot of room still in there. Um, the case is not waterproof. However, um, 
I don't have a problem with rain getting in. I do live on the west coast, so it is fairly rainy out, but I, I've never had a problem with uh, water getting into the case. So it will get a little wet, but it dries pretty easily. The one little feature that there is on the back is that you can actually tuck these backpack straps. Oh, I hate this one of Velcro. Uh, you can actually tuck these backpack straps right into here. So you just strip them. It's fairly easy to do, standard backpack, you know, just kind of pull. <laughs> uh, you tuck all the straps in. Move that back down. Move it down. And the backpack straps are pretty much away. So if you did want to use the shoulder strap, you can tuck those backpack straps away. Uh, they're pretty slim line, so they don't um, they don't come out too bad. Um, and here's my main negative that happened. It only happened on my tenor sax case. Another Velcro rip. So it only happened on this tenor case, and that's um, these clips right here broke. They broke two weeks after I bought it, or maybe like a week and a half after I bought it. It was right away. And I went back to the store and they said, um, oh yeah, you can, you can order another one, but apparently it's a thing with these clips breaking. So I don't know if that's actually true, but that's what the store told me. Um, so this one is fine on this side, but this one, that metal part got so bent and damaged, um, that I, I just couldn't use it. So all I did was I went out and bought my own um, carabiner style clips, um, which is what these are supposed to be. You can see this one, the metal parts completely come off. Um, and I just use carabiners now to clip it on. That way if you wanted to detach them as well, um, you would still have that option. Uh, the carabiners cost me about five dollars for a set of two. I went with hot paint because then I could just distinguish my case that much easier. Um, you know, in case you're on a band trip or something and it has to go under a bus, um, pretty easy to spot those pink, <laughs> pink carabiners. Um, but that's my main negative about this case is that those broke on my tenor case. They didn't break on my alto case, but they did on the tenor. Um, other than that, though, this is a really strong case. Uh, it has been very durable. It's very lightweight. This is about one third the weight of my standard uh, custom uh, case. So that is my biggest positive is that it's got the backpack straps, it's lightweight, and it's fairly easy to um, get in and out of, and it's very secure as well. Um, if you did want to, you probably could um, uh, slide a lock in here as well if you wanted to lock the zippers while traveling, but this case is actually uh, approved to be taken on as a carry-on luggage. As long as it is in a contoured saxophone case, um, I haven't had any problems going on a plane with these type of cases, even up to tenor. So I've taken my alto and I've taken my tenor in these cases on the airplane and they're allowed to be stored in the overhead compartment. So uh, again, another positive for it. Uh, so it's never had to go um, somewhere where I would think that these would need to be locked but they could be if you um, if you wanted to. There's a little bit of room in there and you could lock it. So in terms of how big it looks on, it's truly not that big on the body. Um, the tenor case does stick up um, over my head height. So it kind of does hit on the head um, just a little bit. It comes above my head here. But other than that, if it's nice against the body and it's not too bulky, it's pretty, it's pretty standard it's there. It does make a little bit of a noise uh, in the straps by the arms, but um, on me, I can actually sit down in it. So I don't know if I ever need to sit down with my case on my back, but if I ever needed to, I could sit down with it on my back. Um, you can see it does come up just a little bit over my head. So if I lean back, I do hit it. So just don't be, you know, doing some massive shoulder checks while you're crossing the street wearing it. Um, you can layer this with a backpack on the sides because there is a little bit of shoulder room on this side. So I have had this on my back and then another backpack or, you know, strap across bag and been perfectly fine carrying, you know, all my extra gear. And this does free up your hands, 
So you can carry a coffee, you can carry a water bottle, you can carry all that stuff, which uh, we all know as musicians, you need to have all the beverages. So um, again, more positives for it. I hope you enjoyed my review on the ProTech ProPack tenor saxophone case. Um, as I said, I do have an alto one in a blue color. I will try and insert a picture here. Please come back, like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to see you back here, and I will see you in the next video.